Hey guys, welcome to one more video. This is Max from Summer 133. In this video, we will be talking about how to save your maximum troops when you get hit. Now, in the game of Evany, the most interesting part is the bubble discipline. So first, I'll talk about bubble discipline. For my keep that you see, I always have a bubble on. And the server that I belong to has no truce only a, apart from Monday. And the reason that we have a truce on Monday is a lot of people have a have, you know hard working weekend or uh, for those who are in the service sector and for those who are enjoying the weekend they go celebrate party and all and sometimes they uh, you know fail to maintain the bubble. So Monday is the day when we all have a truce on our server and uh, nobody will hit each anybody. It's like a nap day. But from that onwards Tuesday onwards till the end of uh, Sundays or the end of the kill event there is no truce there is no nap even on the non KE you are allowed to hit your the game is completely open now majority of the players maintain their bubble discipline like 90% of the server players maintain their bubble discipline there are members who fail to maintain the bubble discipline due to many reasons can be a personal reason family issues real life issues guys real life is always a priority over your game and i totally understand that and i totally respect it because someday if i want to have some important thing to be done in my real life maybe go for banking uh, related uh, issue or maybe some family related issue i would not pay attention to the game so one thing you should always do is maintain your bubble discipline and it's very simple just keep up plan that daily if you are bubbling or if you are doing a three days bubble for example as per the Indian standard time my bubble is going to expire just two hours after the reset which is tomorrow so what I will be doing is tomorrow once I wake up in the morning I will bubble up for 24 hours and in the afternoon or in the evening I'll set a three days bubble so because of which I have a complete track of my truce time and my troops and resources are safe but imagine that you fail to bubble up in time maybe your phone got lost or some or the other thing and you have got lots and lots of resources troops and your subordinate cities then how can you save your troops from getting lost you're gonna have those wounded for sure but how can you save them from getting lost so for that there are two different categories that I want you to understand one is your hospital another is your trap factory trap factory works as a hospital for your siege machines as you can read here damage siege machine capacity whereas your hospital is for your three types of troops range mounted and ground so whenever an enemy attacks you you will be losing or if you lose the uh, defense if you, your troops get zeroed so the trap factory and the hospital is going to take care of your troops that get wounded and let me tell you how they work there's one more building that comes into the picture which is holy palace and holy palace works in two different ways i'll explain i'll explain you that as well so now first let's speak about the hospital your my current hospital capacity is 330000 plus 875000 and how do you increase the hospital capacity so in the defense category I want you to pay attention the defense category there is a research called as advanced medical power advanced medical power pardon me for the pronunciation which increases your hospital capacity by 100 percent so this is first increment so as you increase your level you will increase your number of troops and the more the number of troops the more you have to be careful about the bubble because uh, if you get hit Healing the troops is one thing, which, but then there's going to be resource consumption and the healing speeds consumption. If you lose few troops, maybe get a tile hit or get them wounded on attacking a boss, it's not going to be expensive. If your medicine and your advanced pharmacy is researched to its max, but if you fail to do so, your healing cost is going to be and the healing time is going to be very expensive. So, first thing, advanced medical power which is ADV medical power this increases your hospital capacity the next research is in the medical aid the hospital scale that is first research which is going to increase the hospital capacity the second one is going to be your super hospital scale that is going to increase your hospital capacity by 150 percent 
Now, total, if you do all the researches, you have a good hospital capacity. But if you apply a general on the duty, as you see right here, you will have some more troops capacity to be saved. Like now it is 330,000 plus 974,000, almost uh, 1.3 million troops will be saved. Now, if you look at my account, I have almost 7,000 siege machines and another 200,000. So, let's consider a 220,000 siege machines. So, my 220,000 siege machines, if I get attacked and if I get zeroed, my 220,000 siege machines will be saved and it will all go to trap factory. As you can see, the trap factory capacity is... 250% plus 167, uh, 250,000 plus 167,000. So majority of my, not majority, all of my siege machines will be saved. Now the number of troops that I have in my account is 650,000. So if you reduce the number of siege machines, almost 400 and something thousand is the troops. So if somebody attacks me, I will have all of my troops saved. Now, what if the troops are beyond the capacity? So, at the moment, my hospital capacity with the general on duty is 1.3 million. Okay, I repeat, with the general on duty is 1.3 million. The current number of troops that I have is 400,000 troops, not the siege machines. I'm not counting siege machines. I'm only counting the ground mounted and range because siege is going into the trap factory. So that means if I have got 400,000 troops, I can still happily train 900,000 troops. So in case if I get zeroed, I'll still be able to save 900,000 troops from getting killed. Now let's talk about the Holy Palace. How does the Holy Palace work? So beyond the amount of 1.3 million troops and beyond the amount of siege machine capacity, which is somewhat... 500,000 uh, sorry 400,000 at the moment I repeat beyond the capacity of the siege machines of 400,000 and the ground range and mounted troops of 1.3 million whatever extra gets wounded will be considered as deserted they'll lined up here as you can see these are the deserted troops so even when you are attacking an enemy the troops that are supposed to get killed or wounded will first land up in the deserted category and then if you get even more killed when this capacity which is 82,944 gets filled whatever extra troops that get killed will land up uh, as lost permanently now after level 25 there is one more feature that unlocks which is troop souls or you can say revive troop souls. Now, how does this work? For this, I want you to pay real attention at the match. Unfortunately, I am not figuring out a way how to do this manually and show it to you. But when you get all your troops uh, zeroed, your hospital gets filled, your trap factory gets filled, your deserters get filled. Okay. Whatever extra troops are there that are going to get killed, I repeat, killed those troops will be divided in the ratio of 23 percent against 77 percent out of which 23 percent will go to the troop souls and 77 percent will be lost permanently no recovery what can you do about this so let's say if you have got 200,000 troops which are precious which are above the total amount of hospital capacity total amount of deserter capacity beyond that whatever extra troops that you have let's say 200,000 high quality troops are there what you should do is build up four times the T1 troops or lower level troops so those lower level troops will be your buffers so in case if somebody hits you as you see the 23% to 77% which is 1 is to 4 ratio on an approximate your 80% troops which are the le lower level troops or the layers will get lost and that won't pinch you but your higher level troops will be saved 
so layering is the concept which comes into the picture here now for a person like me i'm not training troops because my alliance is killing higher level of bosses and i'm getting the resources and i'm able to gather food as well as my troop upkeep is below the resource production so i have nothing to worry about so i'm happily gathering resources on the map i'm happily gathering food on the map and i'm able to hold it as you can see 715 million food is still open and no worries to lose about it but if i get unbubbled i'm going to lose all these resources and and <laughs> my troops are going to get wounded now my dear friends here is the most important part even if you have a 1 billion power there are going to be players who will want to burn you down they will rally you maybe once twice or thrice they will lose half of your their power to make you zero but they'll do that and as you guys know sometimes we put up a general shazar aldur which is not that strong if you don't work on her right if this general is placed on the wall she's very weak i haven't personally worked on her either as you can see so if this general is placed on the wall you are gonna lose really bad so now i'll tell you what are the researches for holy palace in the recovery the first research increases the capacity of deserter troops this is going to increase the number of troop deserter troops even more as you go further this research will increase the deserter troops even much more okay so these are few of the researches that are going to increase your deserter capacity moving further is the junior horn production now how does this work the moment you get even one single troop as a deserter the horn production begins and whenever your total number of troops get filled up or stack up you can recall them i let the troops fill up not 100% but i let them fill up as much as possible so that when i recover them i don't have to wait for the horns to get produced as you can see right now it is showing zero per hour but generally it is 23 or 26 per hour for me again depending on the research this horn production can be increased you will only be able to understand this for yourself now as i spoke about the report wherein you get attacked and your layers take the attack and all that i'm going to show you one of my reports wherein i attacked somebody and i had a very huge amount of loss which is here so now you will understand how did this work so i attacked an enemy with 600000 troops out of which 35000 troops sur uh, survived because of the research 380000 troops went to the trap factory so my dear friends the 600000 troops are the siege machines okay so 318000 troops went into the trap factory 73000 troops went to the holy palace 87000 troops got killed 25000 troops went to the holy palace troop souls and now i'll show you the detail report so get ready this is what you need to study this is all that explains so the attack if you add up all the troops so i want you to add up the 35000 the 73000 the 380000 87000 and 25000 that's the total number of troops that i had so out of the attack 35000 troops survived okay so, uh, 380000 troops went to the trap factory okay 73000 troops went to the deserters because i had few more already few deserter troops over there 87000 troops got killed and 25000 troops survived if you check the ratio it is almost 1 is to 4 so guys this is how you can save majority of the troops now this is what you are looking at the report where i attacked somebody but if you want to see i have also been uh, attacked one player and he has a very similar report for you to understand however is holy palace troop souls ratio is a bit poor maybe 18 percent or 17 percent i don't know about it exactly but if you do the maths uh he his 667 000 troops survived 
his uh, sorry wounded went to the hospital his 55000 troops went to the deserters so maybe his holy palace level is low or the uh, holy palace was already filled with some troops and his 420000 troops got killed and 92000 troops went to the holy palace troops so which is in the ratio of 1 is to 4 approximately so guys this is how your recovery is dependent on your hospital capacity and the number of low level troops you have if you can build up lots and lots of layers like low level t1 troops it doesn't matter if you have a proper 1000 of each or fight 50000 of each no need to worry about that even if you have t1 troops 500000 600000 it is a good buffer for your recovery i hope this uh, video and information is going to be helpful to you please uh, do the training during the uh, king's path event wherein you have this option to train 200000 troops and especially during the resource consuming event so that you use the food for training troops you can train ground you can train siege you can train mounted you can train range whatever you like that's absolutely your choice but make sure that you have the buffer so that you can save the maximum number of troops guys with this i conclude today's video thank you so much for tuning in if you have got any questions please hit me up and guys i need your support subscribe to my channel uh, also share this to other people who should watch the videos and who might need the help so i can promote my channel more and which will also give me the opportunity to broadcast my game live stream on youtube so with this i sign out your friend max from server 133 i'll see you next time